Hi, here I am at the shop floor, and you're probably wondering what I'm doing, but here we've got the new tip mag showing the magnetism that's transferred from the tip down here, and we're picking up a three-quarter inch pocket chisel. Kind of unheard of, but that's how powerful the new tip mag is. If you notice, it's not even touching the actual metal. It's just transferring that magnetism all the way through the tip. So let me show you how this all works. Okay, when you get your tip mag, it comes in a little package just like this. So you're going to take it out, and now we're going to put it onto a square drive tip or a Phillips bit, whatever you want. Now, what you want to do is there's a small little retaining ring right here of nylon holding those crescent-shaped magnets in there. Now, the tough thing about this is this is opposing negative-positive magnetism. And what happens is if you're not careful when you install it the first time, you can knock these magnets out of here. So when you put it on, you push it over the tip just like that. It fits very, very tight. You want to hold your fingernail so you're applying pressure to the magnet and just slide it over the top. If you don't, you can knock these out. Now I'm gonna show you what to do if you do knock them out. Okay, so we've got a tip mag right here and the magnets are not pushed out of it yet, but I'm gonna just kind of push them out to kind of show you what happens. Now you got a mess because they're outside of their nylon housing. So what you wanna do to fix that is just put one on there. Now, notice I'm not using the standard uh, hex-shaped shaft right here. I'm going to use a slightly smaller shaft, like on a screwdriver. I take the nylon housing and put it over just like this, and keep that magnet out just a little bit, and then, oop, these things are really powerful, and then you put it over like this, and you bring it into there, it's a little tricky, and then you force both magnets in so they're opposing one another. Now there it's back in, and what's happening is these magnets are actually pushing away from each other, and that's what causes all the magnetism that we're desiring. So this is how you fix it if you knock it out. So you've got your tip mag on your two inch square drive bit, and you put it into your taper lock. Of course, we're gonna go over that in just a minute, and you lock that in place. Okay, so that's on there. Now, when you put your screws on, you don't even have to have the tip mag up close to the screw. It's still super, super powerful. You can just look, that's unheard of. But if you want even more power, you can actually slide the tip all the way up and now the magnet's actually kissing right onto the head. And this is a great feature of our powerhead screw and why our products work so nicely together. So a lot of people like to use the one inch bits with the tip mag and you can do that as well. It doesn't look like you can, but let me show you what you do. You wanna bring the tip mag all the way out to the end when you're putting it into the taper lock or your bit holder. And make sure that's in, and then push it back like this. Now, just the end is sticking out, and it goes on there, and it works perfect. And if you want that little extra power, you can push it to the front, and it works great. Another great application for the tip mag is actually putting it on a screwdriver. This is what it was originally invented for. When you're putting your screws in, your tip screws are always falling off the end of the tip, but this allows it to transfer that magnetism and give you an incredibly strong hold. But just to demonstrate just how strong that magnetism is, look how that screw's offset to the side. It still holds on there perfect. And of course, if you want to keep all your screws with you, you can just pick them up like that, and as you need them, you grab a screw and you put it on, and you're done. This thing saves a ton of time. You're going to love this tool. It's awesome. Hold on a second. Come on back. At FastCap, we like to do everything fast and efficient, but inevitably, sometimes we might forget something, and Paul forgot to tell you one important feature about the tip mag is that you can actually magnetize your tips without having the tip mag on. Now, notice this tip is not magnetized and will not pick these screws up, but with a simple pass, and you can do this a couple times to ensure that it's well magnetized, and instantly, your tip is magnetized. Same thing with smaller bits. We'll take one out of this pack here. Notice it doesn't pick up the tip or the screw. With a simple pass over for a second. And there you have it. Now on the larger screws, it will pick it up, but it's not quite strong enough. In that instance, just insert the tip mag, and there you go. All right, we just wanted to make sure we don't leave anything out. There's another amazing application with the tip mag. Thanks for watching.